you guys, one thing you will soon understand is that hate is just a test. You know, when people hate on you, they talk about you. Everyone wants to talk shit. Everyone wants to look at you and say you're nothing. That's a test, bro. And it's coming from God. You know, you need those people that are telling you you're not going to make it. You need those people that are telling you you suck at life. You need those people that are telling you you're stupid. And there's a reason for that. Okay. It's because your patience needs to be tested. Your strength needs to be tested. Your level of emotional intelligence needs to be tested. You don't realize that now. Okay. So if you're in a spot where people are hating on you, you don't realize that right now. And that's okay. Okay. That's okay. But I'm trying to flip your mind because the moment you flip your mind, you're going to be like, the more hate I get, it seems like the more I win. Right. So every time a person sees progress, they got these fuck face haters. And uh, it's funny as hell to me. I, I fucking love it. Um, yesterday, I had someone comment. Oh, I love your videos, but we need to work on the cussing. Well, if you don't want to watch the video, then sign off. And, and it's crazy because I was at a low frequency when I saw this comment. I think it was some fucking lady or I, I don't know who it was. I honestly don't care. I'm not going to get any fucking clout off of my name. I honestly don't give a fuck. But I'm just saying... And that's many of hate comments that I've had, bro. Many, many. I don't give a fuck about that, though. Just letting you guys know that people are going to hate. People are always going to have something to say. They're always going to have their opinions. It doesn't matter if you're doing something positive or negative. People will have something to say. I get on this camera every fucking day, and I speak about positive shit. And people still got stuff to say, big dog. So whatever you do, just commit to it. Just believe in yourself. Just fight every single day and make the most of what you got. Because people's opinions can't stop you, but only if you allow them to stop you, okay? Just know that when someone's hating on you, you can pay attention to them. Because a hater may say some shit that you don't want to hear, but it could possibly be true. That's one thing about a hater. Because they're not your mom, they're not your girlfriend, they're not going to sugarcoat anything. They're just going to say it, right? So I kind of enjoy the fact that sometimes... I can see a hate comment, even though I'm at a low frequency. And be like, damn, that's true. I can change that. I can fix this. I can do that. And uh, I love it. I love it sometimes. I love the hate because I know that when you comment on my video, I know that when you say something about me or talk behind my back, I'm just leveling up. That's a for sure sign of growth when a motherfucker hates on you. You know, and it's really, really a for sure sign of growth whenever someone hates on you and you learn how to control that anger and use it as fuel you can't break a motherfucker like that like you cannot and i want you guys to remain thankful operate out of gratitude every single day because when you're thankful god is going to continue to bless you and when you're getting blessed people aren't going to like the fact that you have trophies you know it could be something physical that you get, and it's a trophy. And it's also a trophy when you have this strong-ass mindset that people can't break or steal or destroy. You know, that that's a blessing. Because what I speak about on my page and what I do is positive. I want everyone that watch my videos to fucking win. I want them to level up in every area that they feel weak. Rather, it's with girls, money, rather it's with your body. Maybe it's just with getting more intelligent. And you just need someone to tell you, hey, man, keep going. Read that book. You know, journal every single day. There's people out there that are struggling with the smallest things, but yet it seems like the biggest things to them. And then there's people out there that love to make fun of those type of people. You know, I was in the gym one day. And I'm not going to sit here and lie. This old man, he's in the gym, he's working out. And he's doing like some crazy stuff. You can tell he really doesn't know what he's doing. And at the time, I'm like 16, but I'm laughing in my head. Okay. I'm laughing and giggling. My friend's laughing and giggling. Laughing and giggling. Okay. And I see other people starting to do the same thing. But after those other people started laughing, it opened my fucking eyes, especially when I left the gym. What if I went up and complimented that man rather than laughed at that man? You understand what I'm saying? What if I asked that man, hey, man, how long you been working out and actually helped him rather than laughing? You know, and God blesses you for stuff like that. So again, I have to keep myself accountable the same way I keep you guys accountable. 
Don't laugh at people. Don't hate on people. Especially when you see them trying to grow. You see them trying to make progress because a lot of the shit and the only way you're going to make progress is through pain. The only way you're going to make progress is through being uncomfortable. And you see someone doing some uncomfortable shit, hitting the gym, maybe posting videos, starting that new job, studying hard in school, starting that new business, whatever it may be, and you're then you're gonna try to make fun of them for doing that. That's funny as shit, dog. It's like, and, and not because the person that's trying, because of you. Because I guarantee you the person that's laughing, like me at the time, the person that's laughing isn't making any fucking progress they're sitting in the same position making no extra money looking no way better just sitting around hating on people dude i've had so many people talk behind my back it's fucking ridiculous but if you see them in person they'll act like they never knew i just smile at them bro i just smile at them because one thing about it is is god is good he created all of us okay and we're all supposed to be one but sometimes people just can't handle the fact that you're making progress and the best way to make progress yes is to make yourself uncomfortable yes is to make yourself go through some pain and suffer every single day because that's what jesus that's how he taught he taught through suffering but it's by being thankful being thankful being aligned with the fact that my life is great my life is good no matter what you have to say i'm still going to show up no matter what these people think I am, I'm still going to show up. And let me tell you something. The devil likes to control your mind. I've been saying that heavy on this page. So if the devil likes to control your mind, guess what he's going to do? Have people tell you things that you not gonna, you can't fucking believe. Okay, but you're going to believe it for a split second. Okay, then you're going to have to switch it. That's just a part of creating that strong mindset. The devil is going to have situations that may go on, right? And it's going to cause your mindset to be like, oh my goodness. That's how the devil attacks you. You know, when I first started this journey of, okay, I'm going to post more consistently on YouTube. I'm going to post more consistently on Instagram. The, my mind was just swarmed with thoughts like, man, I can't do this. Dog. I, don't, I don't know if this is going to work. I don't know. But as I kept going, I kept seeing growth. I kept going. I kept seeing growth. So many days, so many nights, I'm sitting here. I'm upset. I'm mad. I'm angry. I, I still somehow woke up every single day, and I'm still grinding. I'm doing it again and again and again and again. And I want you guys to remember something. Stack days on top of days stack wins on top of wins because every time you're doing that it's like a step it's like a staircase okay and you're just going up and up and up and yes sometimes you may take two steps in a day sometimes you may take one step in that day but life is like that staircase and you're just winning every single fucking day and the moment that you stop is the where you're going to get stuck on that staircase right and then eventually you're going to have to go down the staircase because you're going to get tired of what you're doing because you just stopped that's how I want you guys to think about it. All right. Keep your fucking head up. Um, but I was, be, I remember being in a relationship not too long ago, you know, a few months ago, you know, hearing certain things, you know, you're, you're not this, you're not that, you're not this. But then I say that for a reason, because I want you guys to be with the right person. All right. When it comes to these females, a lot of you dudes and most of my clients, you know, a lot of you dudes out here, we think about females all the time, okay? And it's normal for a man to think about a female. But let me tell you something. Don't forget who you are. Please understand that you are the one that has to create the life that you want, all right? She looks up to you. You lead, all right? That's how it's going to work. And you have to fight every single day to make sure that you're the man that you've always needed to be. If she leaves, oh well. But don't hang around people that are draining your energy, okay? And my point in saying this is get a girl that's on your team. Because no matter what goes on, as long as she knows you're working for something, she's going to be there. Doesn't matter if you don't have all the money. Doesn't matter if you have all the body, that's the best body. Doesn't matter if you have all the, the networks and, and the nice shit. Doesn't matter about that. Are you working towards being the best version of yourself? And a woman, a good woman, will respect that. It will. You guys don't understand what I've been through, seeing my mom argue with my dad. My dad argue with my mom. You know, seeing my dad go to prison. You guys don't know every little thing, and I'm trying to break that down to you. And I have to keep myself accountable and give you guys that. That's a part of me practicing emotional intelligence, right? I've seen these things, uh, went through these things. My mom was in a few different relationships. My dad was in a few different relationships. I've seen how those things didn't work out. I've seen toxic shit. You understand what I'm saying? I've, I've come from a, to a degree, a broken home, okay? And, and it is. It's not a degree. It, it is a broken home, and I had to learn these things. You know, you have to watch how females act. You have to watch how certain men act. You have to watch how, you know, 
the vibe is and the energy is around people. And I say that for a reason because sometimes people will have you thinking everything is so good, but the whole time they fucking hate your guts. And if you have to walk away, have the ability and the strength to walk away from any hater, any girl, any business deal. If God is telling you to move, move, motherfucker. Okay? Stay up. Keep fighting. Don't let shit break you. Don't. Don't fucking do it. Because you deserve more. And you know you deserve more. So submit to God. Listen to his word. Read his word. I encourage you to work as hard as possible every single day. And things will work the fuck out You know it's love We never miss And God is fucking great man He's amazing If you need help with self-development So you work with me one-on-one -on -one, Okay guys One-on-ones aren't gonna last forever Because this business is growing I'm getting more and more clients If you want to work with me One-on-one -on -one, I want you to click the link in the description Fill out that job form If you click No money you can't invest I can't help you that's just the truth. No mentor or coach can help you for free. Don't ever fucking click the link if you think it's gonna be free, okay? But if you think that you're ready to invest in yourself, if you know you're ready to invest in yourself, you're ready to work hard and actually develop yourself, click the link in the description. We're gonna work one-on-one. -on -one. We're gonna make sure that we meet your personal needs, okay? Don't fucking miss this opportunity because one-on-ones aren't gonna last forever, big dog, because I'm growing and you should be growing too.